Hello, and welcome to this podcast. I'm so sorry that each, like, this is literally nighttime, and I, this is gonna, you're gonna get this tomorrow. So this is, I literally each week do it the day before. So I need to find a better um, way of going about this. And I'm in my bed. I didn't know what to do this podcast on, and I just came back from the park, and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it on what I was thinking about in the park. So that is what my podcast is going to be about. And I don't really know how I'm going to like format it or articulate it. So we'll just see how this goes. Um, Essentially, I want to do this podcast a little bit on like ending the war within yourself and like a little bit about like identity and like, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I was having a talk with my sister um, a couple days ago, and obviously her and I have, like, the exact same upbringing, but we've handled it so differently. Like, in ter- my sister is way less of an avoider than me, I think. I think I avoid more. We And so because of that, I, like, recently – like, I, I'm dissociated or whatever. But recently I've been coming out kind of of my dissociation and, like, cr- like having these kinds of, like, purging cr- – tears which is really good like it seems like it's a lot like in the moment I've definitely been like what the fuck um but it's good because I'm like I feel each time more like connected to myself and I know that's me breaking out of my dissociation so I was having one of those days and um I was like can you come over I don't really ask like people to do that So she, like, came, and then I asked her, I was like, how do you, like, deal with the same thing I'm dealing with? And she was like, I'm just really soft with myself. Like, I'm really nice to myself, and I I give myself, like, I just am, like, soft. And I was just like, what? Like, never even considered that way of dealing with it. I've never even considered the fact that, like, maybe the solution to my problem is just to be kind like to myself and just to give myself grace and like who like I don't know I think most of us I want to say all of us but I don't know I so most of us I think have like an aspect of self-hatred where you just hate yourself I can't even imagine someone who doesn't I literally like maybe they exist I don't want to rule that out but um I don't know Like, we all, to some level, are, like, disgusted with parts of ourselves or, like, hate that we can't figure this out or, like, something. Um, Or just, like, we scold ourselves for being a certain way. Like, I I do that often where I'm just, like, I think my, my way of controlling myself is, like, discipline almost. So it's, like, kind of whipping myself into shape of, like, um you shouldn't feel that way, like, how dare you kind of thing. So that's, like, kind of another way of hating yourself, I guess. Um, I don't know. I just found it interesting. And it kind of, like, opened my eyes up to the idea because I'm down to try new things, like, especially at this point. Like, I am not going to sit here and be like, I have all the answers and, like, this is the way, you know, like, because it's not true. and, And I want to try, like, anything I can. So that to me... I'm like, okay, like, I guess I'll be nice to myself, like, fucking Christ. And I tried that day, and it really made me realize, like, how that's kind of the last thing I wanted to do was that. Like, the last, very last thing I ever wanted to do was actually be nice to myself. Because why would I want to do that? Like, I, I just felt like she or I didn't deserve it, you know? And I think that's... I don't think I'm alone in that. Like, I don't think I'm, like, the only one that, like, hates them, like, that, like, likes being mean to themselves. Um, So, yeah. And in the second part of the interview with Charlotte that comes out next week, we talk actually, like, at the end, like, a little bit about what I want to bring up, which is, like, this documentary um, I watched called Stuts. with It's on Netflix with Jonah Hill. We we talk about this, so I'm not going to get too in depth on it but one of the things that like 
the psych it's essentially a documentary about Jonah Hill's psychiatrist and he has like it's this very interesting way of kind of dealing with trauma and um kind of internal stuff too just like you can like personify like your judgment and you can personify your shadow and things like that things you're ashamed of you kind of give them like a body and an entity and then you can like talk to them you know so like and I've actually done similar things in my own therapy with my psychiatrist where he's told me and this has helped so this is kind of why I want to talk about this and it's what I just did at the park so I was like I literally was like what I have two things to do I was like I'm gonna do this whatever internal shit that I wanted to do that day and then also I was like what the fuck do I talk about I have to do this podcast because I have a quota because I signed with a studio and yeah so I had to put this out tomorrow but um, so I was like, why don't I just do it on this and like whatever. So things that I've done in my therapy that are similar are, um, which I, I urge you to try because um, I'm assuming if you watch this podcast and like you're interested in all at like what I have to say, like you're kind of similar to me in some way. I'm assuming like that you're interested in this kind of st stuff or I don't know. Otherwise, I feel like why would you watch this? Um, so um. Yeah, so I'm just gonna hope someone's like would do this. Um, but he's essentially my psychiatrist said like, um, I have like a great deal of like judgment in myself of like, like on everything that kind of just like sits on my shoulder and like reviews like everything I do and like just judges it so like harshly. And, and to some level like that critical like voice in my head has helped me so it's like it, it's almost like um I don't want to get rid of it because that's like that's kind of my compass at least it feels like so he told me to like imagine what I believe like my judgment to look like he was like why don't you sit like imagine you sitting on a bench and like one of your most peaceful places in the world and I did that and he was like okay now your judgment I want you to like imagine your judgment, like that voice, that thing inside your head, like coming up to you. And like, what does she look like? And she was like kind of like a skinny, like pointy version of myself, like kind of just like taller and like whatever. And um, kind of having that separation. And this isn't like a new concept that I'm bringing up by the way I'm not gonna even like you know what I mean this is just something that I found interesting that helped me um so I talked to my judgment and though like in this therapy session I was just like I I understand I understood what he was getting at and I understood like kind of this way of looking at your how do you even how do you even explain that you're map in your mind I don't know like your emotions I don't know I found it fascinating you essentially kind of use and rely on your unconscious to tell you the answer so you can ask your judgment or you can ask your shadow or whatever questions and then you just let your unconscious answer it because it, I, I've said this in so many podcasts, I think. But, like, I really do believe, like, us as individuals have the answers within if you ask yourself the right questions at the right time. I, I do believe that, and I, I think that's true. And um, so that's kind of what this therapy is about. I like going to the park because I can focus a lot better and I um, really drop into my – what I want to do. So, like, here, like, in my room, I can get distracted and, like, whatever. I sometimes go in my closet and, like, I can do similar stuff. And it's essentially, like, just taking a break because I can be so fucking addicted to my phone and addicted to screens or addicted to listening to music and, like, addicted to, like, everything that can possibly drown out. Just being alone and, like, sitting and, like, thinking about things that maybe I should think about. So I went to the park and... I started thinking about, I don't know. I am like now like regretting. I'm like, do I want to do this podcast on this? I don't know. Um, Cause it sounds just like whatever, but um, I 
I don't know. This is just a brief intermission before I continue this, but I've really gone back and forth this whole time having this podcast on how much I want to share about myself. There's some things I feel like I don't think are like a big deal where I'm just like, it's just true. So I'll just say it because it's true. Like, yeah, this is true. It's, I don't feel like it's like embarrassing or something. But then I've had people come up to me, like my friend's mom came up to me and was like, I watched your podcast. Like, you're so brave. And I was like, what? Like, that just freaked me out. I was like, what does she mean by brave? Like, what am I doing that's brave? Like, I didn't like that in a way because I didn't look at it like, I don't know. I was like, am I doing something that's embarrassing? I don't even know it. I'm just like, it's just true. Like, whatever. Like, I don't know. But now I'm having, like, second thoughts on this for some reason. <laughs> like, of all things, I'm like, why this is the one that's tripping me up. Sometimes it's it's helpful for me to, like, talk to people that aren't really there. I don't know. I just like doing that sometimes. Um, I just think it's therapeutic for myself. And, like, I don't know. And so I do that sometimes at the park. And... Today I was just like, why don't I just ask, like, and talk to um, what I'd identify as part of my shadow. This is, and, yeah. And so, like, your shadow, I guess, is, like, things you're, like, ashamed of in yourself. So Jonah Hills, for instance, I don't want to get too repetitive, was, like, his kind of overweight version of himself that he's not proud of and that he shames and that he, like, wish he wasn't. And so I thought I started thinking about like what mine was and and I guess like it would be like the thing you're most like insecure about. Like the that that part of you that's so loud in your head that says like I'm not good enough that everyone has. I don't think there's one person that doesn't have that. Um unless you're like a raging narcissist. But even they have it. They just don't know it. So I started thinking about like what my shadow looked like and like what mine was because I'm not I wasn't like a previous overweight person that I'm shaming this kind of like actual personified like thing that I used to be or something like that. So I I started thinking like what is mine? And I, I think it's like this like scared little girl that's like just scared of the world and like yeah that's just like feels like pathetic almost just this like I don't know and like whatever that just is mine and so I started like talking to that thing to that version of myself I just asked like how they were and how they're doing and apologized and just like had a real conversation, like as if they were actually, they actually existed, like with actual dialogue. I'm not kidding. Like I made jokes and stuff to this fucking imaginary shadow. Um, But it helped. And it was like the first time, like because I was talking to this like version of myself and like I felt so bad for it, you know, like I don't think I really would feel bad for myself. Like, I don't, I was more, like, angry. Like, I was more, like, like, I, that's the thing is, like, you, like, like, at least me, like, I, I whip myself, like, where I'm just, like, get it together, Charlotte. Like, I'm not gonna, like, sit there and cry about, like, my, I just am not doing that. So I'm more so just, like, get it together. Like, you got shit to do. Like, pull it together. So there's not, like, too much, like, empathy flowing back and forth to myself. Um, so kind of talking to this like shy like little girl that like exists in me that like doesn't really think too much of herself and just kind of like I don't know she just like yeah it like made me feel bad for her and like I don't want to like get emotional every fucking podcast so I'm not going to but it did make me feel bad bad for her and I like wanting this sounds so fucking weird but I'm just gonna I literally don't care anymore I'm just gonna say whatever but I like wanted to be this like thing's friend like in a way oh my god it's gonna get too abstract but whatever it almost felt like I 
after a while, like, was talking to, like, my younger self in a way. But, like, almost, like my five-year-old self. Because that's almost what it felt like. It felt like this shadow is just, like, this, like, very, like, fragile girl. That's, like, just dissociated and, like, doesn't want to participate in life. Like, it's just this person that just wants to hide. And it's weird because, like, that's not, like, really my main, like, personality. I would ask her, like, how do you feel and this and that. And she would answer, like, I don't feel like I feel like this or I don't feel this or whatever. And I, my instant reaction was, like, oh, my God, of course you're, like, good enough. Or, like, of course, like, I'll be your friend <laughs> and shit like that. Um, and then I realized after like a minute, I was just like, this is like the first time I've technically been nice to that voice. And it's interesting. I should be nice to it. It just like really opened up my mind because I don't think I've ever tried that ever. I always thought like the way of dealing with your own, I don't know, is like to scold yourself because that works to a level like it does. But maybe it creates other problems, you know, it creates like separation from from the thing that you don't like like about yourself. Maybe there shouldn't be that separation. And that's kind of why I say like end the war, because that's kind of what it felt like. I felt like I was ending a war that was kind of existing for a while. And I don't think I ended it today. But I think I, I think I'm now on the pursuit to do that. I just thought it was interesting. The aspect of just being nice to yourself. It sounds so fucking cheesy, but like, I'm gonna give it a go this year. I really am and <laughs> see what happens. Um, because I'm down to try something new. Like, I don't care. I know it's like, like it was, yeah. I don't know. And doing it this way, like, helped me a lot more because, like, my sister, for instance, was like, be soft with yourself. And I just, like, cringed at that. Like, I was just like, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm just not. I don't know what about it. Like, it's just, yeah. But when you give it a face and when you give it, like, when you're like, I don't know. Like, when you're looking at it, like, in your mind or, like, whatever. And... It's different because it's not you, you know, so it's easier to be nice to something that's not technically you. I just find it fascinating that you can like change yourself and like evolve more and kind of add these things to yourself that you can do. I think that's cool. And so I don't want to ever stop adding things. I feel like I have such a skewed version of myself as we all do but I think for so many reasons I think partially dissociation and partially like just whatever I'm just over hating myself I say that I'm probably gonna do it forever but I'm down to try new things why not this was a new thing I tried Am I going to do it again? Probably. It's kind of fun. I genuinely love, I, well, maybe it's because I already do this like a little bit. I don't know why I do that, but it just is fun for me. I don't know. I think it's just like a way to exercise my imagination and to not let go of certain things I don't have to let go of and people that I want to keep talking to that maybe I can't now, stuff like that. So I like that, it worked for me and I think it's an interesting way of kind of ending the war that we all kind of have to a degree. I don't know, I know it sounds kind of stupid but and lame, but try, why not? Like seriously, like what do you have to lose kind of thing, you know? <sighs> Anyways. That concludes my podcast.